Okay, uh, Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Today we are going to start uh, Oracle Virtual Box free training. Uh, first of all, let me talk about uh, about uh, the Virtual Box. That what is Virtual Box? Basically, uh, if you can go to Google, you will find about Oracle Virtual Box that this is basically a free and open source hosted hypervisor for x86 virtualization. <coughs> Do you guys have any idea about virtualization? What is virtualization? Basically, <coughs> virtualization is a technology <coughs> which reduces IT cost. So there uh, for to virtualize your hardware <coughs> uh, okay let's uh, virtualization has different types basically server virtualization network virtualization storage virtualization desktop virtualization today we are discussing server virtualization and I will show you <coughs> that how we can virtualize our personal machine <coughs> For virtualization, we use hypervisor, right? <coughs> so hypervisor could be operating system, or it could be application. In simple word, <coughs> we have two type of hypervisor available. This is type one hypervisor. <coughs> and this one is type 2 hypervisor right today uh, we are going to discuss type 2 hypervisor because virtualbox is a type 2 hypervisor <coughs> what is the difference between type 1 and type 2 hypervisor type 1 hypervisor could be directly installed on hardware suppose you have a server machine or you have your personal machine you can directly install type 1 hypervisor right and then you can create multiple virtual machine on top of your hypervisor and you can <coughs> install operating system you can run your application like this So this hypervisor <coughs> gives us facility to run multiple virtual machine on a single hardware. So you can uh, get facilitate from type one, type 1 hypervisor like this. Is it clear? So this is the uh, definition of type 1 hypervisor basically <coughs> let me tell you the examples of type 1 hypervisor we made ESXi Microsoft Hyper-V Citrix hypervisor the old name of Citrix hypervisor is Zen server so these are examples of <coughs> type 1 hypervisor what is type 2 hypervisor uh, VMware Workstation is example of type 2 hypervisor VMware Fusion Oracle Virtual Box <coughs> the one we are discussing today Parallel these are examples of type 1 hypervisor uh, maybe I uh, write the spelling of parallel wrong but you can check in Google <coughs> in type 1 hypervisor we basically install uh, operating system on hardware first <coughs> and then we can install type 2 hypervisor on top of our operating system so type 2 hypervisor cannot be installed suppose this is your Windows 10 machine so then we you can install type hypervisor like this 
<coughs> and let me so I think you guys now know the difference between <coughs> sorry I should have So that's the story <coughs> of type 1 and type 2 hypervisor. <coughs> uh, I have already uploaded uh, two videos on VMware Workstation and I have already uploaded uh, almost six videos on VMware ESXi. So if you get, if you guys get some chance you can visit my YouTube channel. You can find me here on YouTube with uh, name of Kashif Buneri IT trainer <coughs> and you guys can watch the other hypervisor uh, videos so this is my YouTube channel and if you click on playlist I have uploaded <coughs> some of the uh, lectures already so you can you guys can start from VMware workstation then you can you guys can watch this video or you can watch this video it has six videos uploaded and I will also upload video of this session so basically in uh, this two days training uh, I will teach you that how we can uh, they, uh, I will teach you about what is VirtualBox. So you guys already familiar now that VirtualBox is a type 2 hypervisor and we will learn <coughs> how to install VirtualBox right how to do <coughs> basic configuration of VirtualBox <coughs> we will also learn what is virtual machine how to create virtual machine how to install <coughs> uh, operating system guest operating system on virtual machine and we will also discuss virtual machine virtual networking and virtual box so these will be our topic in this two days session right so <coughs> let's start from introduction so this is the introduction of virtual box I did not make notes but you guys can uh, get an idea from this uh, internet you can see here Oracle VirtualBox is a free <coughs> and open source hosted hypervisor it is developed by Oracle Corporation <coughs> right if you want to use this product you can visit this site and you can click on downloads link and from here you can uh, suppose you have Windows operating system you can download it like this and the best uh, the good thing is you can install VirtualBox on your Linux machine it can be installed on your Mac operating system and it can be installed on your Windows machine so it's good for us I mean so we are now using Windows machine so you just click on this button and a file will be downloaded in your machine so I have already downloaded Oracle VirtualBox to save some time so once you uh, let me I think uh, where is that file should be here you can see here Oracle virtual box I have downloaded this up yesterday and I have already installed this product on my machine so this is the the uh, icon of VirtualBox you can just double click on this and this is the main console of VirtualBox 
in your case uh, virtual machine will not be created but yesterday I was practicing so I have created one virtual machine already so once you uh, install VirtualBox installation is very simple you just need to download the VirtualBox I, uh, setup file and then execute that file and simply next 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 and your virtual box will be installed on this machine before working on this virtual box product we need to restart our machine and enable BIOS uh, enable virtualization technology from BIOS once you guys install Oracle virtual box uh, or before installation uh, you should enable virtualization technology on your machine suppose you have Dell machine <coughs> you can go to BIOS uh, using F2 and F2 a key button and from there you can enable virtualization technology so you can run virtual machine on your virtual box environment <coughs> that should be enabled okay so <coughs> this is my virtual box it's very simple product uh, first we will configure this uh, virtual box for <coughs> uh, ourselves so you can go to tools and from here on preferences you can select a default folder to store your virtual machine by default <coughs> your virtual machine will be stored in this folder right but you can change it suppose you have much space in your D drive or E drive you can change uh, your virtual machine location suppose you have uh, you want to store your virtual machine on your F drive you can create a folder here with any name and you can select that folder here so that will be the default folder for your virtual machines right <coughs> so that was the step so basically we have covered that how we can install uh, virtual box and how to do basic configuration of virtual box so let's talk about virtual machine basically virtual machine is a main component in virtualization technologies because we can install operating system on virtual machine and we can run our applications right so this is my environment I have installed I have hardware I have Windows 10 machine and I have already installed virtual box on top of my Windows 10 machine right and I want to run some uh, application on my <coughs> virtual machine so first we need to create virtual machine this is virtual virtual machine is like a software based computer you can install operating system you can install application <coughs> in production environment it could be your server 2012 server 2016 or server 2019 uh, but in personal environment uh, suppose, uh, suppose you are doing MCC training or you are doing some other training and you want to practice so you don't need to purchase a hardware for yourself you can create virtual machine on your virtual box <coughs> and you can install uh, operating system on top of your virtual machine <coughs> so this way your physical machine will not be affected with your practice uh, and also uh, some of the trainers like me uh, we also use type 2 hypervisor to to give training so this is a very good product basically so you can see here uh, <coughs> I have 8 GB RAM in my machine and 3.8 GB RAM is not utilizing it is free so I can create a virtual machine and I can utilize my resources <coughs> okay so uh, <coughs> let's start with creation of virtual machine so you have basically two options uh, 
one option is to create a new virtual machine and another option is to deploy virtual appliance so virtual appliance is basically a ready-made virtual machine right You can see here what is a virtual appliance virtual appliance is a pre-configured virtual machine so suppose you have a virtual machine and it has already operating system installed you can deploy that virtual machine to your virtual box and you can run here right and the good thing is <coughs> virtual box support VMware workstation virtual machine and it also support Hyper-V virtual machine as well because it has the capability to uh, support any of the uh, virtual machine I mean uh, if that virtual machine is built on uh, Hyper-V environment or this that virtual machine is built on VMware environment so this is my uh, virtual machine environment uh, virtual box now I have to create a virtual machine on my environment so uh, I will click next a new button here you can see here it will ask you the name of your virtual machine this is not your operating system name this is just a name of your virtual machine right so suppose my virtual machine name is test dash windows 7 so this would be the name of my virtual machine so it will show the name will be shown here right uh, this virtual machine will be stored in this location by default location is this one right uh, type uh, what is the this option mean <coughs> for uh, this is basically a type which type of operating system you want to install you want to install Windows or you want to install Linux you want to install Solaris so you have to select uh, a platform basically you have to take care of this these options suppose you are installing Windows 7 then you have to select Windows 7 here and it will create a virtual machine that would be compatible or designed for Windows 7 operating system right so I have selected this option Microsoft Windows which Windows 7 you want to install uh, which Windows operating system you want to install suppose I want to install Windows 7 32 bit so you can select Windows 7 32 bit here if you have to install Windows 10 you can select that product if you want to install Windows Server 2019 16 or 12 you can select those product here but my uh, this is our test environment so I will go for Windows 7 32 option okay what will be the RAM of the virtual machine so suppose uh, my hardware has 12 GB RAM and I'm running I will I'm running Windows 7 virtual machine so based on your virtual machine demand you can give uh, the RAM <coughs> to this virtual machine and one more thing suppose I give 2 GB RAM to my virtual machine right and this virtual machine is only utilizing 1 GB RAM so only 1 GB RAM will be minus from my physical machine because hypervisor only provides those resources which are utilizing by virtual machine so this is the beauty of virtualization and also hypervisor right <coughs> so suppose I'm giving 1 GB name because Windows 7 32 bit has a very light product the product which I am installing right now that that is a very light product so 1 GB is fine but in your case you can give 2 GB 4 GB up to you up to your requirements but you have to think uh, take care of your uh, physical machine as well you have to look into that suppose you have 4 GB physical machine so you might have problems with performance and virtual machine running 
okay let me explain this slide uh, this portion uh, basically every virtual machine has its own VRAM VNIC VDisk and vCPU right so we have covered VRAM suppose 1 GB will be my RAM by default this every virtual machine has a built uh, as a virtual NIC a single virtual NIC but you can assign up to four here in virtual box right so by default virtual NIC is available so we are good on this side V disk basically virtual disk every virtual machine has its own virtual disk right and if I have to install Windows 10 on virtual machine it will be installed on your virtual disk and it will not be installed on your this physical disk so if you want to do partitions or you want to format it this virtual disk will be formatted it what this virtual machine operating system has nothing to do with your physical disk right so this portion explained that uh, you can add a virtual disk to a new virtual machine suppose you have already a virtual disk available you can attach it here but and you can also create another disk right and if you don't want to add virtual the hard disk now you can use this button if you have existing hard disk and it has some data you can attach here but I am going for this option create a virtual hard disk now and it is uh, now this uh, this window is basically for virtual disk file type if you if we are creating virtual machine on VMware workstation VMware workstation virtual machine uh, virtual disk format is type is VMDK right let me write here VMware virtual machine if you have Microsoft Hyper-V environment so Hyper-V VM uh, virtual uh, virtual disk type is VHD right and VDI is basically virtual box disk image so if I select VDI I would only be able to run this virtual machine on virtual box but if I select virtual hard disk VHD I will be able to run this virtual machine on virtual box and also I can run this virtual machine on Microsoft Hyper-V so if I copy this uh, virtual machine from here or export this virtual machine from here I can deploy it on my Hyper-V environment and I would be able to run it if I want to run this virtual machine on my work VMware workstation as well so I can go for this option alright so we can also do that so let me select this option for now because I have VMware workstation already installed on this machine so I will also show you that how we can export virtual machine from here and we can import it on other uh, hypervisor right uh, there are some tools available uh, guys my session will be disconnected after one minute so you guys can uh, join me after once you are disconnected okay so you guys uh, can select a word hardest uh, file type for your virtual machine you can also click on expert mode and here are some other option as well you can select those options based on your requirements what is the difference between dynamically allocated and fixed size basically if we select dynamically allocated uh, so it's the same example of thin provision uh, in what we wear ESX side so if you don't have any idea about thin provision I have already uploaded those lecture to my YouTube channel you can watch there 
so dynamically allocated mean suppose uh, I am giving uh, 40 GB disk to my virtual machine and and uh, after installing after creating the virtual machine this uh, virtual machine only utilize 5 GB of disk so if I select this option dynamically located this is by default selected option so the virtual machine disk disk size will be only 5 GB and it will only utilize 5 GB of your C drive of physical machine so it will only utilize those uh, space based on the data stored on the virtual machine so for now I will select the VMDK option the same option is here again uh, dynamically indicated which is fine fixed size means that suppose I give 40 GB space to my virtual machine disk and it has only 2 GB of data but again the disk size will be 40 GB so if you want to reserve some storage for your virtual machine you can select fixed size split into files of less than 2 GB what is uh, this option used for basically if I select this first if I don't check this option a single file will be created for the virtual machine disk so suppose I have uh, 10 GB data on my virtual machine the VMDK size will be 10 GB right and you want to move this virtual machine from this uh, uh, physical machine to another much, uh, machine and you have 8 GB USB stick you won't be able to copy that virtual machine because your USB size ha is 8 GB but your virtual machine a single file virtual machine disk size is 10 GB so the split into files of less than 2 GB uh, give us facility to move our virtual machine in parts in different parts so suppose I have 10 GB data stored on my virtual machine 5 VMDK files will be created of 2 GB each file size alright so splitting makes it easy to move virtual machine from one machine to another machine so you can see here and also if you are creating virtual machine on FAT32 file system right so uh, suppose your C drive is formatted in FAT32 so for that option you can also use this split into a because in FAT32 file system partition uh, we cannot store a single file which size is maximum more than 4 GB so you can read it here also you can also choose the split the hardest file into several files of up to 2 gigabits each this is mainly useful if you wish to store the virtual machine on removable USB devices or old system some of which cannot handle very large files so for now I'm not using this option but you can use it okay what would be the size of your virtual machine desk so I am installing a very small operating system light operating system so I will select 10 GB only but you can give based on your requirements and create your virtual machine your virtual machine is ready now so this is my virtual machine the name of this virtual machine is test windows it has no operating inst system installed yet it has one adapter available now it has a USB controller share folder description you can write something here to make it easy for you uh, 1GB name is assigned alright if you want 
to do some changes on this virtual machine you can simply right click on this virtual machine and you can go to settings and from here you can change the requirements like this okay so suppose you it's it has only one adapter and you want to assign another adapter as well you can enable it why we would need two adapters so suppose this virtual machine is a firewall and you need two interfaces one for WAN and one for LAN so you can assign or for the teaming purposes you can assign multiple adapters so in virtual box you can assign up to four virtual next virtual network adapter to your virtual machine so we are almost done with these tips that how we can uh, create virtual machine now we have to install uh, guest operating system on our virtual machine so we have different options option one is to install operating system you from network you can install from uh, suppose you have a physical disk D uh, DVD you can attach insert that DVD in your physical machine and you can connect that DVD to your virtual machine easy method is to use ISO images so I have already Windows 7 image available yesterday I downloaded uh, this ISO Windows 7 this is a light product you can see so I want to install Windows 7 light on my virtual machine so you can simply uh, you can attach it now or you can just start your virtual machine and it will give you option to attach the ISO image to your virtual machine so I just started my virtual machine a console will be open here uh, you can browse your ISO images by default it will be empty you can add it here like this and you can browse and you can select so I have already attached which is why I am able to just select this option Windows 7 Lite and start your virtual machine and finally your virtual machine is started if you want to view a full screen you can use host plus F so what is host plus F basically write control and your keyboard write control and F uh, when you combine these two keys your virtual machine screen will be full screen uh, in VMware Workstation we use Control Alt Delete button to full screen our virtual machine but here we use right control key plus F so this is installation step I have to pause my video because I don't want to show you the installation process you guys would be already familiar and I want to save some time okay uh, as you can see here uh, finally operating system has been installed uh, the first step after installation is to remove installation media right so you can go here and you can remove disk from virtual drive just like in physical machine when we install operating system from USB we just remove the USB bootable USB right so after installation when we remove the uh, ISO image from virtual machine we need to install a tool uh, in VMware environment we call it VMware uh, tools but here it means install guest edition CD image so what will be the benefit of this tool basically it will enhance our performance and uh, we will be able to full screen our virtual machine in a good resolution as well so I will just click on this and an ISO will be attached to your uh, this is basically called virtual box guest edition so just install it and 
it may ask you to reboot your machine so we we will reboot our machine and our virtual machine is ready so this tool is very important you have to install it you can check search about it that what is the benefit of this tool so let me restart my machine and we are good on this side so today we have learned that how we can install uh, VirtualBox how we can uh, let me explain it from here that how we can st install VirtualBox basic configuration virtual machine creation and we are done with these options so in our tomorrow session we will discuss regarding the virtual networking option that what is virtual network King in virtual box all right so see you guys tomorrow take care